Well, you might recognise the spot once again in uh, one of my favourite spots to visit up in uh, up in the hills. It's a uh, day out in the bike. Thought it uh, might be time to pull over and have a feed, so we're just going to be cooking up some snags. Same thing, frying pan, um, little gas cooker as well, and uh, yeah, sausages and uh, egg, sausages and egg, sausages and onion, and uh, between some bread for some lunch. So I'll get it all set up and we'll uh, get cooking. Hopefully the wind goes away, so it actually cooks, but uh, first up we'll get our onions in there. Good thing about uh, having everything frozen before you uh, go out, it, um, it adds as a uh, uh, sort of ice pack for your, for your cooler box as well, even though I've just got one of the, um, one of the little lunchbox ones in there, but I've got a fork somewhere. The other good thing when you freeze onion, it sort of softens it all up straight away. Um, so you really don't have to cook it as long as you would if it was fresh onion. And still having that um, tart, that real crunchy, crunchy onion anyway. Cooking snags is going to be one of the easiest things you do when you're out in the bush. Um, I sort of touched on a little bit in season one when I was showing off the uh, the little butane cooker. So I had this isn't it. This is another one. This has got a bigger bigger head and wider arms just for a bigger bigger hot plate. But I could have easily used that one on this as well. But um, because those onions won't need much, I'll um, get them over to one side a bit. So get our sausages in and get them started. These are just a thin beef sausage from the butcher. Um, well, sometimes I will have the uh, the thicker the thicker ones or the ones that have already got flavours and that added to them. They're not the best for like, camping or cooking like this because they can often take a while to cook. And nine times out of ten, whenever I cook them, they end up getting cut in half anyway, just to uh, just to cook all the way through because you don't want raw. Even though there's nothing wrong with it, you don't want to eat raw sausage, half cooked sausage, so. Get a little bit of oil for that. Never let your snags go dry. <laughs> a little bit of oil, too much oil, no such thing. Make sure they're always lubricated and you can, um, so they don't stick because that's the first way you can burn them second way you can burn them is if you try and rush medium heat yes you might be in a hurry or whatever else but it's gonna it's gonna be worse in the long run if you rush and cook your snags so yeah and i know we're cooking sausages it's not that hard but trust me there's a lot of people that don't know how to do them so just gonna let that keep on going there like that for a minute Keep moving that onion around so it doesn't stick to the bottom, burn to the bottom, especially since it's been there for the longest. Do a flip. Ideally tongs would be the best for this. I've just put a um, kitchen set together for the bike, but tongs wasn't part of it for some reason. I don't know why. It will have to be added to the list. So there's nothing get dirt on it. Put this away. Gonna move it over now, so the, most of the snags are uh, on the hot plate element. It's that egg, uh, egg. Oh, I keep on calling it egg for it's clearly onion. Um, that onion's nearly done. So one of the easiest things when you are doing snags 
<coughs> always do the um, the opposite turn. So started there, do a uh, do a 180 and do the other side. Let that cook, and then when that's done, go over and do your sides. Just that way, um, you do an opposite side. So if they do start curling up or whatever with the um, the skins going tight, it doesn't uh, doesn't create a problem. out there. Right, yeah, they're looking pretty good now. Um, just get your colour on them. A little bit of crispiness. The biggest ones, just check the ends and make sure there's no redness there or anything. That'll normally tell you if you undercooked it. So, slice of bread. Onion on the bottom. Onion on the top. No real uh, preference. Apart from I should turn that gas off. Like that. Sizzle, sizzle. You'll never get me carrying a bottle of sauce around the motorbike. There's no way that's got pain written all over it. Might be able to get some little satchel ones or whatever to have sauce with you, but uh, like pies bacon eggs, whatever else. If you've got um, good ingredients that taste good, you shouldn't need sauce with them, so. Mm. Yep. Bit hot. Um, so that's it. Even though there's been a couple of cuts in the film, probably six minutes, cook it up. A minute either side to set up and pack down. Um, get your gear back on and get on the road again. So um, I'm going to finish this. And I'm going to go out and uh, hopefully do a little bit more riding before the rain gets here. So happy travels.